Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I'd like to show you another COGO function. COGO is short for coordinate geometry. Uh, just a function off there that's an intersecting points off of lines. Um, I've got a job site right here where I've got a couple scenarios where I'm going to show this to you. For example, this one right here where we've got an inter uh, intersection of a road. We've got a center line on this road and a center line on this road, but this center line doesn't extend all the way down to here. And if someone was curious where the actual center point was, maybe they're doing a new as built to the EOP, whatever it may be, and they need to fix that point right there off this. There's some easy ways in Kogo to figure this out. One being, go to your menu at the top left here, go down to Kogo, and there's two options in here. The one we want is create points and arcs. In here, you've got a lot of items on the left side right here, if you're not familiar with it. So you can hit this question mark at the top right. And this will tell you what each one is. This one right here is the one I'm going to focus on in this video, intersection of lines. On this, what it's going to ask you on the right side right here is you can see that it's asking for two different points in one line length. And then it'll ask you for on the second one here to pick two other lines where it would intersect. And this would make more sense as I show you. So what I can do is zoom down on this line right here and I can pick that point right there and I can pick that point to establish where this line is coming straight through. Now it prompts me on the right side to pick uh, two other points in the area where that's gonna come through. So I'm gonna simply just pick the center line right here and the center line right here. And what that has done is it's given me a straight through actual point where those are gonna intersect right there. So if I hit accept in the bottom right here, I can actually create a point there, either a measured point or a stakeout. And I'll just leave the point name right here as center. I'm not worried about the elevation or any of that, just more or less an actual position. So if I hit accept, you can see that I've got an X right there now. So I can turn on point name and it'll, meet, it'll show me where the actual center of that is. So that's the ability to actually figure out where those connect. Another scenario that I've used this for out in the field is I also want to find out where the center of this intersection comes out. Maybe I need to raise the elevation here or actually isolate a crown line through here. Whatever the scenario may be, I need to figure out where that is off of these two edge of pavements right here. There is a couple different ways you could do this. You could offset this line into the middle point halfway and do it through. But let me just show you a quick way using the same exact intersection aligned option. I'm going to go ahead and pick on the edge of pavement over here and edge of pavement here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the center line right here to establish a single point right there. I'm going to hit accept. I'm not worried about the name of this one, but I'll just leave it center one. Now I've created one there. Now what I'm going to do is on this other edge of pavement, do the exact same thing. I'll pick a point there and a point there and isolate another point. And if you didn't, you can see right there that I didn't hit right on the line. I can just back up. So if I go ahead and hit here and here. And then just zoom in a little bit more so I can get right on the line and right on. Now I've created a separate point right there. So we'll go ahead and just create that. So I have two that are going to come right off of edge of pavement and edge of pavement. But now I need to figure out the center of that point right there the in between these two. So on the same uh, area right here in the um, Kogo, two more up from the intersection of lines is this one that's called midpoints of line arc. Now, if you just tap that line, you can see that it's going to select the entire alignment. Well, we don't want that. I want to isolate these two points. So I'm going to back out of that right there. And right here, you can see this little plus symbol. If I click on that, I can free click the two points that I want, which are both of those. If you zoom in, you can see I'm on that one and I'm on that one. And then I can go ahead and hit accept and it will use the center point of that. So there we go. So now I know that's right down the middle of that intersection right there. I've got a point. I can hit accept and I can call this uh, center of exit, whatever you need to call it. We'll go ahead and do that. And now I have that point as a stakeout point. These other two that I didn't want, I can simply just go up to the top of this and hit this little trash can and I can click that point and that point and delete it. So those are gone. And now I can go out and I can grab my rover and I can come over and touch and hold on that point and stake that point right there. So I have a true point right there. 
Um, go ahead and think of anything on your job site you can use that for, but these are just a couple examples that I wanted to show you for intersecting of lines using Kogo. Um, this is very simple to do just sitting in your truck or in the office before you go. You don't need Trimble Business Center to do some of this. Um, you can do it on the fly out in the field. A lot of this is just thinking outside the box and using the program for what's, what's needed. Anyways, uh, my name is Jeff Larson. I'm with Site Tech Intermountain, and thank you for watching this video on SiteWorks training.